Okay everyone, I'd like to welcome you to another video today. And the topic of this video is going to be envelopes. So what is an envelope? It's not something that you put in a mailbox. Technically envelopes are a modulation source. So in the world of synthesized audio, we have the fundamental tone, which is created by an oscillator. And if there are no other actions taken, that oscillator just remains still. So it's just one sound with no modulation. An envelope is a way to alter that static tone. So I can give you an example. So this is an example of an oscillator playing a static tone. Although it doesn't sound horrible, it's not that exciting. Without giving it any other signal or any other command and telling it to do something, it doesn't know what to do, so it stays on forever. An envelope is a way to modify or modulate a static oscillator. So if I were to, to add an envelope to this sound, I can alter the duration of it so it doesn't stay on forever. An envelope is usually comprised of four sections, A, D, S, R, and those stand for attack, decay, sustain, release. And on this synth, which is the Roland System 1, it is controlled by these faders here. So we have A, D, S, R. In a general sense, each of these parameters have definitions. So the attack stands for the amount of time it takes for the note to sound when you press the key. So if I have the attack all the way down, it's gonna sound immediately when I press the key, like so. As I move the attack up, it's going to create a longer ramp until we hear that sound. So let's try it now. So you can hear that it is fading in to the sound. And if I put it all the way up, So there, it takes a few seconds now to reach the tone. In this situation, we're using the envelope to modulate the amplitude. So what is amplitude? Amplitude is basically a fancy or a scientific word for volume. We are modulating the amplitude of this wave using this envelope. And this is just a basic saw wave, by the way. It's a saw shape waveform nothing else going on. It's just a simple saw and the filter is open so we're hearing all the harmonics of the wave. So again, immediate sound, a long ramp into the sound. Okay, great. So that's the attack. So what is the decay? Well, the decay is the amount of time it takes to reach the sustain level. Okay? So that's a little bit confusing without knowing what the sustain does. So the sustain, when the sustain is all the way up, it affects the amplitude of the wave. So if I have my sustain all the way up, that means that as I hold the key, it will reach maximum amplitude. So it's actually a volume control for your note. So as I reduce this fader, or if I lower it, you will see that it gets quieter and actually all the way to nothing at all. So what does the decay do? So the decay is, again, the amount of time it takes the wave to reach this level of sustain. So if I have the decay up, it's actually going to, the, the note is going to rise in volume and then it will lower to the volume of the sustain level, at like so.
And you can see there that it took a few seconds to actually get down to the amplitude level of the sustain. So let's lower this, it'll happen faster. And if I go even lower, Okay, so it's, it's kind of a nuanced, it's a subtle effect, but it, that is the definition of it. The decay is the amount of time it takes for the wave to reach the volume set by the sustain control. Now, what is the release? The release has to do when you release the key. When the release is all the way down, the moment that I take my, my finger off the key, the note will stop sounding. So for now, I'm going to put the, the decay and the sustain all the way up, just so we have maximum amplitude of the wave. That sounds like this. And you notice when I take my finger off the key, the note goes away immediately. As I bring this value up, if I raise this fader, that amount of time is going to be longer. So let's hear that. Okay, and let's put it all the way up. Okay, so that's taking somewhere between five and ten seconds to completely release the note. How would you use an envelope? Where do you want to set it? Well, it depends on what type of sound you're going for, of course. I think a really easy way to show what envelopes do and the effect that envelopes can have is by using an arpeggiator. What is an arpeggiator? In a really simple sense, an arpeggiator on a synthesizer is a parameter that allows you to play any combination of notes that you want and it will play it over and over in succession so that you don't have to play it manually. So if I was going to play just a C major arpeggio, that would sound like this. So with a synth, you don't have to actually play each note every time you want to hear it. You can just press these three notes and you can set the arpeggiator. So you can just press the three notes and it'll play them for you. And if I take my hand off the keys, it stops. Why? Because the release is down. Now, this synth has a really cool feature called key hold and that means that I can hold the keys down and I can press key hold and it'll hold the keys for me. So now I have hands-free operation and I can affect the sound with my envelope. Okay, so now if I bring the release up Okay, so we can see the effect that the release has. It completely changes the sound uh, that we're working with. So I have a patch here that I made. So this is how I saved the sound. Now, let's arpeggiate this patch and I'll just kind of play with the envelopes 
and you can take stock of the effect that they're having on the tone. And remember, I'm not affecting any other parameter here. I'm only affecting the amplitude envelope. And if you shorten that, it's called the amp, right? So the amp envelope. That's the only uh, parameter that I'm affecting. So I'm gonna play a C major arpeggio here. We're gonna do C, E, G, and another C to put an octave on top. I'm gonna use my arpeggiator control, and I'm gonna use my key hold control so it'll hold the notes down for me and I can affect the parameters um, with, with free hands. So let's try that. Okay, and I'm gonna reset the envelope now and start start it so that all the faders are down. So right now we just hear a click and what that is is that's a gate signal that the arpeggio is sending to the oscillators and it's saying I I want the oscillators to sound in this rhythm and you can hear it. But 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 so now I'm gonna slowly start to affect these envelope settings and we'll hear what changes they make. I'm going to start actually by bringing up the decay very slowly. And I'm going to speed up the tempo just a little bit. Let's bring in a sub oscillator. Okay, let's take the sub out. Let's change the octave range of our oscillators. I have two oscillators that are making up this sound. So this is oscillator one by itself. Let's bring in oscillator two. delay.
this is all being made with one C major chord. Pretty cool, right? Alright guys, well I want to thank you for tuning in and checking out this video on the intro to Envelopes. And I'll catch you in the next video. As always, have fun every day being creative and making music.